and welcome to Our Gamified World. I'm Danielle Teichne. And I'm Adam Brown. Today on the show we're talking about what is gamification? I guess we start with a really broad definition, widely accepted, I guess, although I'm sure that everything's debated, this kind of thing will be debated. Um, It's, I guess we could say, the use of game design principles or bits of games, parts of games, uh, the, the kinds of thinking that goes behind the scenes with the design of games in different contexts, mm. in all different kinds of contexts. Mm. That's, I guess, how you could define it. And I suppose it will probably possibly change over time, but at the moment it's really that kind of encapsulates everything. Mm. Ga- game design principles like mystery, narrative, Badges, points, leaderboards. Yeah, upgrading levels, yeah. unlockable content, yep. uh, interactive storytelling, yeah, production of avatars, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, there's lots of different things that that can be brought into all different kinds of areas. And these products we're talking about, they don't specifically have to harness all of those principles. They might only just have narrative or um, you know points or mm. badges. So yeah, mm. yeah, and there's a whole spectrum of how how game-like things can be, Mm. I suppose. Um, Really, I mean, I guess the point behind gamification is to engage people. Mm. And that really comes into why it's it's so important, is that people want to motivate people to do something. People or organisations want to motivate people, they want to get them to act, Mm. they want to get them to learn. Mm. And so that happens in all different kinds of industries and, and that's where gamification can come in. And it's really uh, absolutely kind of, in the last five years in particular, mm. it's this huge surge of it, so much interest in it online, on social media, uh, and it's really starting to pick up in all different kinds of industries. It, it makes me wonder, why is this, why is there a need to motivate people? Why is there this... Why are people needing to be motivated? Why does why is gamification important, and why is it meaningful to us? Yeah, I think that, that it's, it's becoming widely accepted from a, a range again of all these different contexts that there is a crisis of engagement, mm. and I mean we don't want to get into critiques of people or, or certain cohorts or groups or that kind of thing, but but really I mean you've got this widespread belief and feeling and sense, and probably reality that. Uh, people feel unengaged, mm. they're, they're disengaged, uh, whatever the correct word is to, to use in that context, with the world mm. uh, in, when it comes to certain things, when it comes to politics, when it comes to education, mm. when it comes to um, you know, the work of not-for-profits. They mm. want to get people to act. And so you've got this sort of environment where gamification can be the solution and more and more and so many of the things we're going to talk about it is the solution uh, or at least part of the solution Mm. uh, to what to what people need and what organizations need Mm. and in um, other TV shows and uh, um, in the media people have talked about gamification and how games they produce this um, dopamine this this release of you know positive energy Mm. and um, you know having challenges and overcoming these challenges will you know present you with these really positive feelings i think that that might be that might be it but why do we what is that saying about our world like how 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 deep can we delve here (laughs) well i mean not too deep in the kind of five minute video that we're we're (laughs) producing here but but when it comes down to it i guess that the kind of gratification that people get and it's not coincidental that we've got the rise of digital media and yeah. social media as being you know the phenomenon that it is that gamification may well come into play a lot more because so are we all just mice <laughs> hitting <laughs> that little pellet button <laughs> well i think actually if gamification works properly we probably aren't yeah. we're not the consumers yeah um that that people often fear because mm. that's kind of you know that the lack of engagement is often the idea that people are just consuming content and not interacting and not producing and the the great thing about gamification is and I think that in the future um, we'll probably see that people are bringing uh, gamification into their own lives Mm. and it'll be really interesting to see where things go but I guess we don't want to go there at the moment but we've got this crisis of engagement and and linking up to what you were saying that kind of you know idea of us being um, having a a bit of a hit Mm. from gamification Mm. 
Um, it's, it comes down to the fact that it's sort of an innate part of being a human. Mm. Play is something that we do from a very young age. Mm. And I mean, we see that uh, across the board and it's something that, if it, I guess if there's any universal, you would think that play is something that can really engage people and interest people and, and motivate people. Coming down to that innate, that innate need and um, those feelings associated with play, can we maybe think back to think to the universal terms, or the universal feelings that we all share, like love and 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 compassion, and and do you think maybe games or sort of the concept of games they pro- they provide us with these feelings that that we all crave as okay. humans? Am I delving too deep again? That's a really good question. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I think it's an absolutely fundamental part of human existence yeah. um, the the desire the uh, to play and and you know to be entertained and all these things are intertwined mm. uh, in these ways but to if anything contemporary digital media culture is showing us that people want to be engaged mm. and they're not necessarily engaged by static information yeah. anymore and they want to interact and they want to be engaged through at least being given those opportunities mm. to play. Mm. Uh, in all different kinds of ways. So, uh, so I guess you know when it comes down to it, that that may be what people, proponents of gamification, who are still you would say kind of a minority. You look at the kind of social media discussions on it. You know, it's it's still it, as I said, it's only in the last five years. But that's what people are tapping into, mm. and uh, certainly the evidence that we've seen so far, uh, even in our own work, um, that that may well you know um, be the future. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week when we talk about a gamified approach to teaching food regulation in university contexts. Looking forward to that. Please hit subscribe below or feel free to send us a comment or a question.